Hello friends, welcome again to El Bethel Ministries, to the Fresh Manor. It's always a joy to talk about the things of God. Today I would like to talk about why the anointing. And I think many of us when we pray, we ask God to anoint us. This is common in the preachers, this is common in many leaders. We ask God to anoint us. But what do we really ask God to anoint us for? And let's go to Isaiah chapter 61. And this is what it says. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. To, verse 2 says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. So what is the anointing all about? To the anointing is to preach good tidings. Okay, the anointing is to release those bondage, those that are in prison. And when we use the word prison, it can be just the powers of darkness holding you down. Today, a lot of people cannot move forward because they are bound by certain habits, certain addictions, certain beliefs. And that's a kind of prison. But the anointing, God has anointed many of us and today I'm speaking to those who are leaders in the ministry. God has called us to preach liberty to people who are in prison, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. When we go to an unbeliever, when a, a person who doesn't know Jesus, you are talking to him about the acceptable year. And what is that acceptable year? Many people would wait, Jesus has to come. No, the acceptable year is now. Now is the time to accept Jesus. So there are two parts of this message. Why the anointing? Or why be anointed? So if you are asking God to anoint you, also consider the purpose of being anointed. Father, we thank you for the anointing that breaks every yoke. We thank you for the anointing that gives us the power to stand against the wiles of the devil. We thank you for the anointing, Lord, which can set the captive free to preach liberty to those who are bound. And Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will open our eyes to the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen.